In this video, we're going to be talking about the Richtech AATSS version 2. Now, the great thing about this unit is this is the desktop and counter mount. This also comes in on with a wall mount option and a pedestal mount, making them all very easy to just step up to the unit, get scanned quickly. Um, this particular unit has a couple of interfaces available underneath the unit. Again, these are accessible via the base here. You can actually just remove the screws here and you'll be able to access these cables inside. Uh, cables here, you have a couple options. You have your power cable. So these are ideal if you're integrating this with a door, um, some type of entryway. You have your pedestal mount. You want the cables routed through it. Um, again, you have your power cable. You have an alarm and a Vigan interface here, positive and negative terminals available. You also have a reset switch. So the reset switch, you just gotta open up this little cap here. And there's the button inside. So if in the event you need to reset the unit to the factory con condition, you can go ahead and just hold this for five seconds. That will reset the unit. If there's a firmware issue or something, again, that's your reset switch. You also have a relay with four terminals available. Number ones and two, you have open. Three and four, you have closed. Again, you can control some of those settings and alarm settings through the software itself. You also have your USB connection. This is USB storage. At this time, the, so the unit does not support any Wi-Fi. This is strictly for storage. Um, and then you have your ethernet connection. Very simple, just plug in your ethernet cable here. This will also allow you to have uh, those settings, those advanced configuration settings available to you from your computer. You don't have to be at the unit. Uh, there's actually nothing that you have to do on the unit itself. You don't have to tap anything. Um, the unit is basically plug and play. Uh, apart from the connections here that you see, you also have connections on the side. So again, they mirror some of the cables here. You have your ethernet, your USB, and your power as well. Uh, by default, these are all gonna be connected. You won't have this thing exposed like this. It'll be inside. Um, so if you need to just plug the power cable and get started with your scans, you can do that. Uh, you don't have to do anything else here. Let's go ahead and just power up the unit just to show you how simple it is. So again, just the power cable. I am not adding this to the network yet. And this takes a couple of seconds. Again, the system is Linux based, so it is pretty quick at booting. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this here so we can see my face here and get a little bit of a better angle as well. Again, it takes a couple seconds to power up. As you can see, the image came up at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and align my face. There's a small outline here that you can put your face into. I'm gonna go ahead and align it and you notice that it gave me a audible prompt. Basically that single beep, it says that I passed, I don't have a fever. And it also gave me a face mask alert. That's a setting you can set up from the configuration software. Uh, let's go ahead and actually test it out by wearing a mask. This is more likely an application. I'm gonna go ahead and put my mask on and I'm gonna go back into the unit here. And notice this time it gave me an alert for pass, but the, it did not trigger the audible mask alert because I was wearing one. If I go back into the unit now, and make sure you align yourself with the screen there. Please wear a mask. And it prompted for a mask because I took my mask off. Um, so again, this is the Richtech AATSS version two. Um, you can plug it into the network and we'll actually be covering that on the next video here.